Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this special figure showcase we're going to be looking at the Decepticon Skull Cruncher. What we're going to do with this video, we're going to have a quick look at him in both of his modes so that way you can decide how you want to display him. We'll have a look at the accessories that came with him and I'll point out a few things that you need to be aware of if you're after one for yourself. I'm lucky enough to have a packaging one as well so we can have a look at the artwork and the battle scene on the back of that. And um, I do believe that he's going to get a new Walmart reissue update. And I've got the previous one to that, which is the Titans Return. So we can do a bit of a comparison as well with regards to that. So here we go. There he is in his robot mode. As I've already said, his name is Skull Cruncher. He was released in 1987 as part of what's known as Series 4 of the Generation 1 continuity of figures. And at the time in 1987, the big gimmick that they were using was Headmasters. And that's exactly what this guy is. And I'll go into a little bit of detail on that in a second, but it's exactly that. It sounds exactly what it is. The head um, is actually a little robot. And this is quite ingenious. And as a child, I had this one. I was quite lucky. And I do remember having so much fun with these. So there is the head. And you can fold the legs down. He's actually got a name. His name is Grax. And he was what's known as a Nebulum Partner. And you could also move the arms if you want to. I'm not going to at the moment with this being an old toy. And of course, you've got a little bit of movement there at the knees as well. So when he was in robot mode, you could fold this bit up to cover up the rest of the face. Sometimes these are quite loose, to be honest, on some second hand ones. So be aware of that. And um, yeah, so when he was ahead, you can fold him over. To be honest, if he's got no arms and you can still get away with it being ahead, you wouldn't notice at all. And then what you've got here is a little reading on his chest. So if we pop the headmaster in, there you go. But like a tech spec there's his strength his intelligence and his speed and you've got to fold it up this is something to be aware of as well to be fair a lot of the chest uh, cavities when you fold them forward sometimes they get damaged sometimes they get broken off but there he is as i say there he is in robot mode we're going to have a bit of a look at him right now i'm going to take out what doubles up to be the tail in his alternate mode it's also a bit of like a club when he's in robot mode and then this is his accessory this is his gun Get that to focus. There we go. And of course, you've just seen his Nebulum partner. So he's got a bit of articulation, this guy, to be fair. Look, he can move at the knees there. But I must warn you that the ratchets and whatever else in there, they do clunk around. And it is quite heart in mouth a lot of the time when you're doing that. He's got movement in the shoulders. He's got movement in the biceps and the movement in the wrists by the looks of it. So quite a bit of articulation for a Generation 1 figure. Uh, the colour scheme, I think, works really well. It does, you know, look... A bit amphibious, shall we say, with the darker greens. The only negative thing at the time was, of course, you can tell straight away that he's going to be like an alligator in his alternate mode. But it does disguise it quite well from the back. So there he is in his robot mode. Before we quickly move on to the um, alternate mode, as I say, there was a Titans Return version of him, which is this guy. And I'm pretty sure I may be wrong, but I know they are redoing um, under in Walmart in America. They're re-releasing the Headmasters and this guy might be one of them. So there's a quick comparison there. So you can see the newer figure, although it has far more articulation, is much, much smaller than the original one. And the difference is they've changed his name to Skull Smasher, to be fair. And the Nebulon part is still in the head there, but it's just much smaller. So that's a little sneak peek. If you haven't got one of these from the Titans Return, what the Walmart ones would probably look like. But there he is. I'm going to pop him out of the way. And then let's have a look at the alternate modes. The alternate mode is an alligator. And, you know, looks exactly like that. This was the club that I showed you earlier. This now doubles up as the rest of his tail. And again, I think it looks, it does look really good. You can see that sometimes that falls down. That's something to be aware of if you are looking to display him in his robot mode. Sorry, in his alternate mode. I mean, obviously the big thing with this is if you've got the head. If you haven't got the head, then there's no way you're going to be displaying him in robot mode. In all honesty, I can't see it. Um, and if you haven't, as I say, you can display him in that mode. You can even get away, obviously, with not having the tail and displaying him in that mode. So it's, it's quite a good, I suppose, get out of jail thing, these headmasters. You can still display them definitely in one of the modes. One of the strange things that I'd like to show you is that, funnily enough, the cockpit for the little headmaster, which surely would debilitate all of his attacking prowess, fits inside there, like so. And you close him up, and there you go. So it does fit, and um, that is literally where he is intended to be. I know it sounds absolutely crazy, um, especially, again, with him being an alligator, and that's how he's going to attack people. But there you go. Um, things, again, to be aware of. Let's have a quick look. I've mentioned the joints. He does have a lot of them. They are quite stiff in some of the cases. 
Uh, you've got a bit of chrome circles there and again corrosion in the screws on the main joints. Loose joints will just mean that that starts to fall out. The biggest thing is obviously with the headmaster. If he's missing arms, which they do tend to be, you can still get away with it being in a head and sometimes this is really, really loose as well. So the big thing again, if it's missing that, then it really is quite hindered. I like to display, uh, well obviously I've got both, but I display the robot mode complete and he just about fits on a shelf because he's quite long. You can't really tell he's missing the back over the tail. So let's have a quick look at the packaging then. So I've mentioned already it's 1987 and I mentioned obviously it's the time of the headmasters. This guy's going off for grading soon. So yeah, he is sealed still. So this is what he would have looked like if you went into a shop way back in 1987. And again, it is an original, it's not a knockoff. So there's the Nebulon partner. He's riding a little bit high, but again, there's nothing I can do about that. And he fits in there lovely. You've got the transformation process there. They've got Grax's legs looking a little bit lighter color than what he actually is. And if we spin it round, this was from a Toys R Us in America by the looks of that. Oh no, I don't know, 10C, I don't know. I'm not too sure where that was from. But the best thing about this is no flap crease. Yeah, there's a little bit of a dent there, but there's no flap crease. And there's that amazing Headmaster artwork. There's your two Titans, Scorp and Arkham, just as luck would have it. There's Scorp crunches straight on the top. And of course the Autobot one as well. Fortress Maximus in the background. But again, a great figure. So many fond memories of these Headmasters. And I think in honesty, that's why, although they're not reissuing the Generation 1 ones again, I mean, never say never, they do do a lot of reissues, but they are going to be reissuing the Headmasters from the Titans Return range. So, you know, very, very popular figures. Um, I, they, they've done quite a few, actually, let's be honest. They've done the Horicons under the Siege line. They've done, obviously, yeah, Ape Face and Snapdragon, and they did do all these in Titan Masters as well. So for the newer viewers, you may have never seen this guy, and for the older viewers, you've probably not seen the new ones. But there you go, that is where they've got their um, characters from. So with the original Erbian on the left, I think as I say, the difference is he's now known as Skull Smasher instead of Skull Cruncher, but there you go. This is the 1987 Decepticon Headmaster Skull Cruncher. I hope you like looking at him. Um, I hope you found it informative and it helped you with your decision on um, if you wanted to get one of the newer ones or if you wanted to get one of the older ones yourself. Um, and yeah, as I say, I hope it brought back some nice memories and it was useful for you. Thanks to everybody for watching, liking and subscribing. Keep your suggestions coming in. I'd love to do videos on figures, especially for people who want to see them. So let me know, drop me a message and I'll do a showcase especially for you guys. And of course, at this current climate, please take care.